too. I like doing the camera myself, to be honest with you. So I'm to zoom in and out. Yeah. Just don't be afraid to put it right up in people's face. Not over like this. Well, well yeah. I, 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 I just might. You never know. Right, I heard that, for real. They talking? Yeah. Here we got a recording? Yeah, it's already going. All right, then. Oh, you already got it. That's going. So I'm gonna give uh, all praises water, to the Yahweh, right? Basha, and Rabbi Shai. I'm gonna give double honors to the apostles of the GMS. We out here in uh, Columbus, Ohio. A big pile of shit. And we finna bring some stuff. Hey, uh, y'all gotta say y'all wanna go with me? Get a uh, Psalms 33. Psalms 33 and 1. Rejoice in Yahweh, all ye righteous, and praise coming for the right. Praise Yahweh with art, sing unto him with the polyester and an instrument of ten strings. Right, and when you make them songs, that's what you're supposed to be singing about. You're supposed to be giving praises to the Lord. You ain't supposed to be making songs or your little raps talking about, yeah, I got your bitch. You know, that's all they sing about in the radio, talking about my Rolex, my diamonds are shining, all that BS, right? Keep going. To sing to him a new song, play skillfully with a loud noise. And right now, we playing skillfully with this loud noise. We blowing the trumpet. Keep going. The word of the hour is right, and all his works are done in truth. He loveth righteousness and judgment the earth is full of the goodness of Yahweh. Right, there ain't no righteous righteousness in this society though. Uh keep going. It says by the by the word Yahweh. It's like by the word of Yahweh were the heavens made, and all the hosts of them by the breath of his mouth. He gathers the waters of the sea together as a heap, he lay up the death in storehouses. Let all the earth fear Yahweh, let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. Right, they're gonna stand in all oh, the Lord when the Lord returns out the out the heavens with all the with all the uh, with all the angels. They, because the Lord gonna come back. You read the book of Acts, the first chapter, it tells you that the Lord left the earth, he ascended up into heaven. And he said that he was gonna return the same way. So when the Lord, like right now everybody talking shit, you know, the Lord ain't the Bible's bullshit. But let's see you talking that shit when the Lord come back in his chariot. And they come back with that fire and that death and destruction. Keep going. Verse, verse 9. For he spat and it was done. He commanded it and it stood fast. The hour bringeth the counsel of the heathen to not make it the, the devices of the people of none effect. Right, the counsel of the heathen. What's the counsel of the heathen? That's going into the Freemasons, the Illuminati. Right, they, they said in plot in secret. They got the little, uh, the Bilderberg meeting was just going on. Is that still going on? I think that was like last week. That Bilderberg? Yeah, where the hell did that It was in the States. I forget where it's at. But then you know they got the stuff like the Bilderberg, Council on Foreign Relations, the Freemasons, Trilateral Commission. They all meet in secret and they plot on how they're going to further destroy Israel. But the Lord said he's going to bring the, the council of the heathens to nothing. Keep going. The council of the hour standing forever in the thoughts and in the hearts of all generations. Blessed is the nation whose God is the hour and the people whom he has chosen for his own inheritance. Yeah, so the, the scripture said, Blessed is the nation whose power is Yahweh. So whose nation's power is, is Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah? It's the nation of Israel. Read that again. Hey, hey brother, give me a, a 30, a, a Deuteronomy 32. Uh, yeah, give me Deuteronomy, uh, you know where it talks about uh, how the Lord separated the nations. Give me that. Yeah, read that song again. It says, Psalm 33 and 12, God blesses the nation whose God is Yahweh and the people whom he has chosen for his own inheritance. Right, so who did the Lord choose for his own inheritance? We, we can read about that in Deuteronomy. You got that? This is Deuteronomy 32. 
8, when the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. Right, we all come from Adam, but you see the Lord separated the sons of Adam. Because all the sons of Adam was that chosen. But the Lord got a chosen people. That's the nation of Israel. Keep going with that. For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. He said Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. He didn't say Esau was the lot of his inheritance. He didn't say Ham was the lot of his He said Jacob. And Jacob is Israel. Jacob's name was changed to Israel. A lot of y'all don't even know that. Y'all don't even know who Jacob is. But Jacob was changed to Israel, and he was the forefather of the patriarch of the 12 tribes of Israel. That's the Lord's chosen people. So get that psalm again. Psalm 33 and 12. Blessed the nation of God is the hour and the people whom he have chosen for his own inheritance. The hour looking from heaven, he beholded all the sons of men. In the place of his habitation, he looked upon all the inhabitants of the earth. He fashioned, he fashioned the hearts of light. He considered all the works. There is no key saved. Hey, we got one part of you know, we'll get back there. That one's on the inheritance. Right, so the Lord said, Blessed is the nation who he chose for his own inheritance. The, the Lord only chose Israel to inherit the kingdom. All nations are not going to inherit the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven was promised to Israel. The Lord made a, a promise to Abraham. The Lord ain't make no promise to Mitzrayim or Egypt. The Lord ain't make no promise to. Uh, he didn't make no promise that Ham or Canaan. The scripture said Canaan got cursed. So the Lord is only dealing with the nation of Israel. That's all through the Bible. New Testament, Old Testament, all through the Bible. Yeah, because that's why you read in the book of Revelation. It talks about the 12, the, the new Jerusalem is going to have 12 gates. And uh, each of the 12 gates is going to be one of the names of the tribes of Israel. That's in the New Testament. Okay, because the Lord is only dealing with the nation of Israel. And if you're not an Israelite, you're going to go into captivity. Because the scripture said, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So if you're not an Israelite, you're going straight into slavery. And that's according to the Holy Bible. It's not according to our words. That's according to the words of the Lord. You got something? Yeah, yeah, I got something. A lot of y'all don't know this Bible like we know the Bible. We know that's the right. Bible. We, we know these scriptures, all right? And that's why you got to have the right teacher. A lot of y'all read this Bible, you got no understanding about what it's talking about. That's why y'all got to listen to us, because we're the only real Bible teachers out here in Columbus, Ohio. This is 2 Genesis 3 and 31. I do not remember how this way may be left, or they did a Bible line better than they assigned. Or is there any other people that know of me beside Israel? Right, is there any other people that know of the Lord beside Israel? And the answer is... Hell no. No. None. Zilch. Nada. Okay. Or what or what generation has so believed thy covenant as Jacob? And who else believed the covenant? Did Esau believe the covenant? Uh, first, uh, uh, Esau saw his blessing for some bloody meat. That's what he thought about the Lord's covenant. He took it as a joke. You know what I mean? Like it didn't really mean nothing. Well, I have gone here and there through the heathen, and I see that they flow in wealth, 
and think not upon thy commandments. Right, you see the heathens right now are wealthy, like these Edomites out here, these rich white people out here. They living real nice. It is. They driving, they, they got their Ferraris, their Lamborghinis, their Rolls Royces, their Bugattis. You know what I'm saying? Living nice. Why all y'all living? Y'all living in a pile of shit. Huh? Living deliciously. You say the rappers? The rappers? Rappers. Oh, uh, they got all them cars on leases. They, they there's rentals. Sellouts. That's all rentals. There's sellouts. A lot of our people are sellouts. A lot of our people, a lot of them rappers anyway, they lie. They're in their music videos. They wearing a diamond necklace that they rented from a Jew. They, they got, you know what I'm saying, they got paying payments on it. Red neck Yeah, exactly. Uncle, Uncle Tom. So you're going to have that. Our people, they, they, they like the, uh, to lay down with the devil. You know what I'm saying? Those are the ones the scripture refer to as the Right, you can read in the New Testament, it was the Israelites who told Pontius Pilate, they said, we have no king but Caesar, crucify him, and they crucified the Lord. So who's behind you? The Old Testament's not irrelevant. The so the, the Old Testament's, the Old Testament, let me ask you a question. The Old Testament. It says thou shalt not kill. That's a new one. I ain't never heard that. Let me ask you a question. The Old Testament says thou shalt not kill. So it's okay to kill, right? See, that's, you're the devil. Like, he's gone, bro. He fell asleep. Neanderthal so face. We ain't worried about it. He's like a cockroach. You know what I'm saying? You got all kind of cockroaches and rats scurrying around out here, bro. It's supposed to be an eater, right? Uh, what about vegetarianism? Yeah. Right. You want to be a vegetarian? Be a vegetarian. Nah, the scripture actually says, "Thou shalt not murder." But the, the priest was giving up sacrifices of meat to the Lord. See what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah it says, really, in Hebrew, there's two different words for murder and kill, and it really says, "Thou shalt not murder" in the Hebrew. So you're not supposed to murder nobody, but the, you can't you can't eat meat. But at certain meats you cannot eat. You can't eat swine's flesh, no pig, no stinking ass pig, no catfish. You can't be eating no shrimp or no crawdaddies. Eating worms, and eating spiders, like these heathens be doing. They eat yeah, some coons, some possum, eat some uh, what's that? That jumbo, the gumbo, jumbo, I, whatever. Yeah, they put everything in there. Oh, that shit, gumbo. That's why it's called. Yes, it's just a lie. It's called an abomination. But that they probably sound like a motherfucker. They were some abomination. They probably sound like a motherfucker, man. Yeah, I mean, you need a vegetarian, you know what I mean? You need a vegetarian, right? Yeah. It's healthier than eating. You know, a lot of people, that's all they do is eat pork all day. They're mixing up uh, the pesticide that they're spraying the vegetables with the pork I and believe else it, too. Is that shit going to stick to the meat, too? to the leaves and shit, man. What's that, glyphosate shit? They're doing everything they can, man, to get that bird to bite back. Everything, I'm going back to the secondary school. Oh, that's good. Yeah, you they come up and just throw it. Yeah, you come, we talking about, you talking about, that's how they do it, bro. They throw a monkey wrench. They take a hard left turn on you. For I have gone here and there through the heathen, and I see that they flow in wealth and think not upon thy commandments. Yeah, because the heathen don't even sit there meditating on the Lord's commands. Like, maybe maybe we shouldn't sell. Like, Esau and the Jew, so-called Jew, got bored, meaning he's about a Kroger thinking, maybe we shouldn't put pork on our store shelves. That's against the commandments. They're not thinking about that. They, You know what I mean? They're trying their best to defile the commandments. Go ahead. Uh, Weigh thou therefore our wickedness now in the balance, and theirs also that dwell in the world. And so shall thy name nowhere be found but in Israel. Yeah, right, the Lord's name is only found in Israel. Who else is out here teaching the name of the Lord? Teaching, right. exactly, it's just us. Right. Well, some other niggas, the mother groups ain't for push today. Nah. The big, the big, the Negro. That's fine, because the Lord won't allow me to do that. Well, well, when was it that they which dwell upon the earth have not sinned in thy sight, or what people have so kept thy commandments. Thou shalt find that Israel by name have kept thy precepts, but not the heathen. Right, only Israel is talking about the Lord keeping the commandments. 
Like, oh, you got some assholes, they try to say uh, uh, the white people are all the Israelites. You heard that shit? Well, where, where are they at teaching? How can, why ain't they out here doing the, keeping the, it's a commandment that we come out here and teach. Where are they at? The How blasphemy they, of those bastards. Huh? Where, but you see what I'm saying? If they Israelites, where the fuck they at, bro? How come they not on the streets teaching? Because they're full of shit. It's like all these other ragged ass heathens. You ain't gonna see no heathens out here teaching a Bible. Because they say they're the Jews and are not. You right, know, the yeah, synagogue where the Jews of Satan. Hey, that's a good point. Where's the so-called Jew at? They claim he an Israelite. Where he at? Well, how come you don't see rabbis out on the uh, the street corners teaching the teaching the Torah? Sign and they climb, yeah, sign and crying. They claim they claim they love that Torah so much. How come they not out teaching the Torah? They busy making that money. They busy making that money. They don't get because they're the devil. They're not. They're not. They're not a Jew. Like the scripture said, it is uh, those who say they are Jews but are not. They're the synagogue of Satan. Because the scripture says that the law will go forth from Zion. We Zion. This is Zion. Zion is a people before it's a place. See what I'm saying? So Zion's a people before it's a place, and the law is supposed to go forth from Zion. Right. It tells you that, uh, what's that? Yeah, what's that? Uh, Charles, bitch ass wife, or whatever. She was like, I think it was his wife, or someone else. Millennium? I think it was her or somebody else, but uh, one of the Arminogration, how are you fucking saying? It was like America was gonna be a beacon of the world and all that shit. Beacon of hope. Yeah. yeah. It's city, it's city on a hill. Yeah, hopefully we get a new bus driver. New coding system would be nice. What? A new bus system would be nice. A whole new kingdom. That's true. I there you go. Yeah, I prefer this one. Under this one. There's only one God. What's the right. name? Yeah, what's the name? Jehovah. Bro. Hey. That's not it. Close but no cigar. No, no, that's not it either. He's trying, though. He's trying. Come here. That's wrong, too. Elbow. Yeah, you can't put it. You can't put wine in the whole bag. This is Sirach 25 and 16. He chose him out of all men living to offer sacrifices to the Lord, incense and a sweet savior for a memorial to make reconciliation for his peace people. He gave unto him his commandments and authority and his statutes and judgment that he should teach Jacob the testimonies and inform Israel in his laws. Right. So that's, you know, going in what you're talking about. The Lord's only dealing with Israel, man. Israel. He only gave the commandments to Israel. He didn't give the mother heathens commandments. That's why they called heathens. The heathens are unruly, uncivilized, you know what I mean? That's why you, that's why you look at them Hindus. They bringing all these Hindus over here. You watching documentaries on the Hindus, they eating soup and dinner with rats. Got rats chilling on his shoulder, kissing them. Ooh. You know what I mean? Worshiping monkey gods. What kind it's of against the law to kill a woman over there? Against the law? Yeah. That's crazy, man. There's a video to do it. His wife died. He like sleeping in the bed. With the dead All body. these fun oh, man. What's that called, man? Sexual dead bodies? Necrophilia. Yeah. That's crazy. Man. They like that sick shit. That's crazy. And they can come up with, you know what I'm saying? They're going to do it. That's yeah. fucking crazy, man. What's wrong? Just like the Muslims, look what the Muslims be doing. They claim they uh, they got the truth. Here, you got a lot of Muslims who be circumcising women, cutting off their clitoris. Oh yeah, India. Uh, yeah. India is um, a woman. They find that they, you know, they giving all the women mandatory ultrasounds to find out if it's a male or female, and they killing the females, man. Cause they saying there's too many women over there. The it's overpopulated. Yeah. How does, yeah. that, does that make sense, man? Saying there's too many women, man. <laughs> Yeah, it's supposed to be. China did the same thing though. They had the one child policy. That's crazy. And if it was a, they would only let sons be born. And they said it's overpopulated. That's a nation of facts, man. Yeah, there's too many women. Give me some of them. Shit. Shit. Don't kill them. Some over here. We take some of them little raggedy heaters. They're going to come here anyway. So right. Here. Some of them might be Israelite. You know? It's uh, Isaiah 63, 15. Look down from heaven and behold from the habitation of thy holiness of thy glory. Where is thy zeal and thy strength? 
the sounding of thy vows and of thy mercy toward me, are they restrained? Doubtless thou art our father, though Abraham be ignorant of us, but Israel knowledge us not. Thou, O Jehovah, Jehovah, art our father, our redeemer, thy name is from everlasting. Thy name, all thy name is everlasting. So the name of Yahweh and uh, Yahweh Shai is everlasting. It was only found in Israel. That's why your boy, he's uh, that old, that old fool. He was, he said the Lord's name was Jehovah. Then we said that was wrong, and he tried again. Wrong. He thought he was gonna get it right. You know, we keep trying. Like wrong. This is the precept of the second answer says three and thirty-five. Thou shalt find that Israel, my name, have kept my precept. Let's go call those precepts. The name, the name goes, the name goes on forever in the scriptures, man. His name. The scripture says, whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. So if you ain't calling on the name of the Lord, you ain't getting saved. You got my more of that though? Oh, let's go. Go ahead. He says, where you at? Holy Howard. Why hast thou made us to err from thy ways and harden our heart from thy fear? Return for thy service sake the tribes of thine heritage. The people of thy holiness have possessed it but a little while. Our adversaries have trodden down in thy sanctuary. We are thine. Thou never bearest rule over them. They will not call by thy name. The heathens. <laughs> you know? Farrakhan got them push alive. You know, and that's a fucking Jake. That's a wicked man. That's a wicked Jake. That's an evil man. Out there, a lot of shit to open up the Bible, trying to read priests on the Bible, butchering the hell out of you know, wicked ass motherfucking man. Oh, yeah, I just not noticed that too. Look at Ham, name Ham, and uh, you don't shit, you don't have to be a name. Go ahead, name. Go, 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 go. You know, this is Shawaka 39 and 15. Magnify his name, magnify his name, and show forth his praise with the songs of your lips. Um, and with hearts, and in all praise of him, you shall say after this manner. And that don't mean bring out fucking instruments, you know. Let's give reference to this, this truth, this wisdom, man. Bring out some motherfucking instruments. You know, man. Bring motherfucking, bring out which uh, guitar and shit. We'll come out with acoustic guitar. Wait a minute, which call them drums they put on that's made yeah, in the popular the the Yeah. You know, bring out some fucking little, bring out instruments. Because that's what they do, man. They play instruments on our own time. Yeah, because in the church they teach you the armor of God is an actual armor. <laughs> the armor they, with the 12 stones of Israel. They coming out dressed up like, like a knight. Right. That's what the Bible says. Are you like seeing? He said, you got that, why you got that boots on and shit? He said, because you're armor. Where's that in the scriptures? Please, Sean. They said they're the army of the most high, right? It, it ain't going to be the army on this side, bro. I thought the scripture said, bless me the peacemaker. We ain't gonna be killing nobody till the Lord gives us that power. Who's that gonna come with enemy? Their security force. Yeah. They're dressed the same way with the boots and shit tucked in the boots. The pants tucked in the boots. We ain't got no power to be fighting over right now. You can switch.